Today's educational video is going to talk about things that can go wrong um, so that you will be aware if you ever try to buy something in cash and choose not to go through an agent or a title company. So one of the things that we see a lot, that we fix a lot um, with a title company and why we use the title company we like to use because they're really good at helping us fix these problems, is when deeds aren't report recorded properly. Um, when somebody passes away and the joint tenancy is never terminated, um, when somebody gets divorced and the property is not listed properly, it causes a lot of problems. What happens when one of these two things occurs is that the title becomes clouded because the proper chain of ownership was not recorded. Um, so that means that if you did things the correct way and had a title company and a title opinion um, and an abstract, if you're not familiar with Oklahoma, it's a record of all the property ownership and all the important legal documents that are relevant to the property. And they use that to get a title opinion, which is an attorney's opinion as to whether or not the title is clear. Um, and that what that means is that you're buying a property that nobody else has claim to, that there's no liens to, there's not gonna be any surprises. Um, and that is really important to do. Now you might miss this if you pay cash and you don't get a title opinion and you don't get an abstract and you don't go through the proper channels and it may be fine and good. Nobody may come up, nothing, no problems may come up during your ownership, but then when you go to sell it or your heirs go to sell it, then it becomes a problem. And sometimes you can end up with property that can't be fixed and then you're stuck with it. So to further explain, um, when you get a clear title, typically you'll get a warranty deed. A warranty deed is somebody guaranteeing that they are the person who possesses and owns the property that it is clear from other ownership and encumbrances. They're guaranteeing that it's a good and clear title. Um, it, but when you get another type of deed, there's several different types, but the two most common that you hear about are warranty deeds and quit claim deeds. Quit claim deeds have their place, and that would be in such cases as a divorce um, where the, the um, divorce decree didn't state well who got the property or the legal description was wrong. So you have to go back and find the ex-spouse and they sign a quit claim deed, which is them giving up their claim to the property. Um, but the warranty deed would be signed by whoever got the property and they are guaranteeing that it's theirs to sell, etc. And that's the difference there. So a quit claim deed only says, eh, if I have any right to the property, I'm giving it to you, but I'm not guaranteeing that nobody else does. Um, and so it's really the lowest level of deed except for a deed that you might get from a tax sale or a share of sale. Um, now there is a way to fix this. You can file a quiet title suit, which would get you clear and equitable title in the property, but it does cost money and it is time consuming and somebody could come forward and fight you for it. The best way to do it, the best thing to do to protect yourself, your heirs um, and your investment is to go through an agent, go through a title company, get a warranty deed, go through the process, get the abstract brought up to date, do all the necessary steps that cost you a little extra and a little more time because nine times out of 10, they're gonna save you a big headache later on. The, when you get a quick claim deed, there's usually a reason for it. And um, honestly, that reason is because it's easier for the seller to do. It's less will ask and less work for them, but it's probably not what's best for you as a buyer. I'm Katie Candy. I've been a real estate agent serving Western Oklahoma since 2017, and I hope this video helps you.